So Lone Survivor is technically a 2013 release. It was released on December 25th, 2013 on a very small scale and then a much larger scale on January 10th, 2014. But because of this, I still have not seen an, a real 2014 movie because January 2014, there's not really a lot to offer. So the 2013 movies just have to be extended a little bit. Now, for Lone Survivor, it's a true story uh, based on four soldiers going on a recon mission. And during this recon mission, they're, they're looking for information on the Taliban. And when they're looking for it, they end up meeting uh, three farmers that are just passing by. One of them is an old man, a teenager, and a kid. And they have basically, they say they have three choices, but it basically comes down to two. And that is, do they either, you know, uh, kill off uh, these people, kill a kid uh, in, in, so that they can save themselves, or do they let them go, and most chances are, once they let them go, they will go tell the Taliban that they're there, and they'll get hunted. And that's what leads to the rest of this movie. That's kind of the point of this movie. That's the turning point. And it l turns into a huge, intense gunfight. This is one of the most intense gunfights that I've ever seen. And that's where war movies really excel. Uh, when you see, like, gunfire in most movies, it's not realistic, but this movie, it's so real, and you get so involved in what's going on that you're at the edge of your seat once it starts it's just before it starts and you're you're, you're just starting to freak out I, I started getting nervous for these characters because it gripped me and it made me feel as if i was actually there with them and i you know you have to get prepared to kill people or else you're going to get killed and you have to hide and the, the soon as soon as you have your first shot you're going to give away basically a position or that you're there and it's just insane because there are only four people and there are tons of Taliban everywhere it is so intense the first thirds of this movie so the first third is kind of the pre preparation there's no action going on at all and that's not a negative because I, I actually really like uh, seeing people prepare for something it's like watching when you're a Rocky movie and he's training it's 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 motivational so I enjoyed that part but then the last two-thirds is just action-packed all throughout it does slow down at one part and that's the only negative that I would say is that one part it does slow down a little bit but then it gets very interested interesting as to why it slows down and then I really enjoyed that part and that's the near the end of the movie and that's one of the parts why I enjoyed this movie so much um, it's just I love the realism I loved how involved I got into this and the the action and how real it was for when they would get hit uh, was something I've never seen before. When they go down a slope, I've never seen this, where th when they go down a slope, it felt like I was watching a real jackass movie because I don't know what was stunt work and what wasn't. And it's so brutal. <laughs> like when they're going down a slope, they're just like sliding down and they're just like tumbling everywhere. And you're like, my God, they're getting back up. They'll get shot numerous times and they'll just get pissed off. And the, you know, one guy gets his fingers just blown off and he keeps fighting he's like god damn it and he just starts taking his gun and he starts shooting a bunch of people that you know shot him and that is real because these are navy seals these are guys you do not mess around with they are trained to do this if they get screwed over and they show that at the beginning of the movie which i like because it shows that this would really happen but also shows the realism of being a human you know when in action survival instincts take over and you keep wanting to fight you get angry if you get hit or anything and you keep wanting to survive but then when things slow down and you're not you're no longer shooting you're trying to escape and you, you have a chance to breathe he realizes that his hand his fingers are gone like half his hand is blown off and then he's just freaking out I, and i loved that about this movie uh, the acting is great uh, mark Wahlberg. I, I love that also throughout this movie it's very uh you know dark tone but also a few moments where there was a little bit of humor and it seems like something that they would say um there's one line that i'll get to I'll, i will have a few spoilers at the end of this just because i want to talk about them but there's a line that he says to ben Voster's character and it's hilarious it's true that they would say this because they're getting shot at but he would say this as a kind of like just to lighten the mood just to like we're in this gunfight but like you still you would say this and i i love that about it uh, and, and Ben Foster, I, he did a great job. Uh, Emil, I can't remember what his name is, but the main character from S uh, Speed Racer uh, or uh, Into the Wild, uh, Girl Next Door, that guy, he did a really good job. Uh, Taylor Kitsch, though, who was, um, I t you know, Peter Berg had him as the main character in Battlefield, and then he saw that that didn't work, so he put him as a side character, and it works a little bit better, but I still felt that it was a little bit too much, and they were kind of still trying to show that he's a very important character, almost to the extent of a main character, uh, like the main character. When it's not, it's Mark Wahlberg, and so that I didn't really like. Uh, but other than that, I really enjoyed the rest of this movie. The ending's great, and if you're a wartime, uh, like a war 
fan, I think you'll enjoy this movie and I will give it an 8 out of 10. So definitely if you like war movies, you'll enjoy this. If you don't like them and you don't like how intense movies are and how violent and maybe brutal they can get, probably not your kind of movie. So now that I've said all this and I said the rating, I'm going to go into spoilers. So if you don't want to hear spoilers, turn off the video right now. Now, <laughs> there's two things that I would like to say. Number one is what uh, would have happened had, what, what they go through is they decide to let the people go, let the farmers go because it's a kid and a teenager and let them survive. And obviously they go and tell the Taliban and the Taliban ends up hunting them. And three of them die. Mark Wahlberg's the only survivor. Now, what they could have done, and I don't understand why this wasn't an option, is keep them as prisoners, go to a location where they could get um, radio transmission, call in for backup, and then as soon as the backup ship arrives, then let the, the, the farmers go. Okay, either way, they, they basically said, if we let them go, the, we failed the mission, we have to get the hell out of here. Because they're going to be warned, and, and the missions failed. So either way, they, they, they were going to have to get picked up. Why didn't they just bring them along with them, call in for support, get picked up, as soon as they get picked up, let the, the prisoners go. And they would then the prisoners would have survived, they wouldn't have had to kill anybody, and those four Marines would have all survived. And there's also like another Marine that like a bunch of... Um, Navy SEALs that come down with a helicopter and they get blown up. And it's like all these people lost their lives because they didn't take them as prisoners. That wasn't an option and I don't know why they didn't think of that. It's just something that I didn't understand. Now the other part is that I want to talk about the line that Mark Wahlberg says is that he, he keeps looking at how, how, how they're all doing, if they, if they can still fight, if he has to do any like um, first aid or any, not first aid but like if he has to patch them up and if, if how bad they are and he looks at Ben Foster at one point and Ben Foster I felt so bad because it's like his one of his eyes is starting to shut because he's just so messed up and uh he his head is kind of like there's blood everywhere and then Mark Wahlberg sees that there's like almost not like a hole but like so much blood coming out from right an area right here and he's like man <laughs> he's like oh this is bad and then Ben Foster looks at him he's like did they really shoot me in the head he's like yeah brother <laughs> And, and they laugh and it's like it, it's kind of funny because they're still fighting so he's not in horrible straits and like they're, they're kind of screwed anyway but they still have humor and that felt so real to me that yeah you're get you're 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 in the face of death like you're you're potentially facing the end of your life here but they still laughed a little bit like man i'm screwed anyway and I might as well make a joke out about this. Did they really shoot me in the head? Yeah, they did, brother. And I just, I love that. Uh, messed up, but I think a real emotion that you would see a human go through. Because uh, there's just so many things that would happen. And that's what I really loved about this movie. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Uh, you've been bearded in. Beard Edge.